Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. This is a very quick PSA video because I think this is really big and very good news, especially for those of you who play Monster Hunter Iceborne or are thinking about finally getting the game. They just announced in Japan that early December there's going to be an update to Iceborne called version 15.10. In that update, they're going to add the ability to craft any of those special festival tickets at the Village Elder Melder, which is fantastic. And they're going to start running the festivals on a regular basis. Every two weeks, it's going to swap. You'll have a normal event, then you'll have a seasonal event, and it'll just keep swapping indefinitely. Login bonuses during the period will give you tickets for the event that is currently going on, and it's just going to keep going. What this also means is that nearly every single quest is going to be permanently available going forward. Um, that's awesome. So Alatrion is still going to toggle every day between Fire and Ice, and what they're doing with Kalf Tarath and Savichiva is they're going to have them on a two-week rotation. So for two weeks, you'll have Kalf Tarath, then for the next two weeks, you'll have Safajiva and then back and forth. But the final change that they announced is the big one, which I wanted to let you guys know about is while Safajiva is running from November 20th until December 4th, that'll be untouched. That'll be as it is right now. Any other Safajiva beyond that point is going to be rebalanced so that it will scale to difficulty for one player or two players. Up until now, you had to get online. You had to get with a group. Now we're finally going to be able to see some awesome time speed runs of single player versus Savajiva. More importantly though, there's a lot of you who are just not able to get the Safi weapons because you don't have online or you don't want to go online or for whatever reason you can't, now you'll be able to solo play against the monster and that is fantastic. This is exactly the type of changes I wanted to see them to do to put the game sort of in maintenance mode so that people can really enjoy it and jump in at any time, especially as we're just waiting for the next Monster Hunter game to come out. So. I would say that starting December, there's never been a better time to get into Iceborne. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys the quick update. I thought this was fantastic news. There was no other notes about stuff like if they're going to tweak the Guiding Land, so I'm kind of doubtful at this point that they're going to touch it anymore. But just having every event a quest available and for switching to Safajiva so you can solo it, I think two thumbs up for me. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the quick PSA, spread the good news, and until next time, happy hunting.